Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial. We are going to continue on with our scene right here, which is our posh, modern looking room. So in the last tutorial, we just created these chairs. In this tutorial, we're going to create some abstract table and uh, have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to create the base. So let's click on this torus, AKA the donut, and let's go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. Once we have that, I'm going to decrease my axes because it seems to just seems like a lot and maybe uh, my height. So what I'm doing is selecting these two texts and then middle mouse and dragon and that makes you control uh, how much geometry you have. So now that I have that, I want to make sure that this is rotated so that the this is actually intersecting the ground because the last thing I want is to be on a corner. You want to make sure that it's actually flushed flat. And I hit F to kind of zoom in. It's F in my keyboard. All right, so this is kind of fun. You're just going to create something abstract. So I'm just going to kind of mess around and grab some vertices and edges and just kind of lift and pull. Uh, there's no real purpose for it other than it's just kind of fun. So I want you guys to, you know, just kind of have a little bit of fun with this, like just mess around grab some edges, uh, you can grab the whole thing or just some of them and then just move things around. So um, I'm going to push this here and I really want to make sure the top is flat. So I'm going to select these. Uh, let's see, maybe just select that one. All right, what's going on here? Okay, so sometimes you see how this is not really going to, with world mode. Uh, sometimes, I don't know how I trigger this, but I'm going to double click on my scale tool and then I'm going to reset my tool and that usually will reset the tool and sometimes if I need to, I'll go to world space and that will give me the manipulator that I'm looking for. So you're going to take those vertices and kind of crush it a little bit so there's looks like there's some sort of support. Got to maybe move it a little bit and let's see, I'm going to grab this, click on here which is selected. Let's see, I'm going to double click some of these edges and maybe kind of give it some depth because right now it's very flat. So just kind of move things to the left, to the right, forward, backwards, you know, so things like that. Just make it interesting to look at. So again, this is very abstract. It's uh, kind of just something fun. This is what it's looked like if I smooth it. So I might want to uh, maybe push the shape just a little bit more. Maybe put some vertices in. Something like that. So let's mesh smooth. We're in animation. Let's go to modeling, mesh, smooth. I think. Cool. All right, let's turn that off. There's my abstract model. If you need to make any other changes, like maybe the base needs to be a little bit flatter. So I'm going to grab some vertices here and crush them flat so at least it's got it looks like it can carry weight and there you go that's kind of looks good to me let's move this forward the space may not be big and big enough okay scoot this over scoot this over put this in the middle all right let's make the top of the table since it's abstract let's make a oval and then make sure it fits on the space like so something a little fun now I'm all about beveling edges so I'm gonna select these two edges it's just too sharp uh, the transition between the top and the bottom is just a, too perfect of a line. So um, I'm going to select these edges and then again I'm going to bevel. I'm going to add two segments just because it helps with the smoothness and then I can fix a, the fraction. So it's really depends how much depth you want. So if you want it to be somewhat sharp you can leave it like so or if you go to your inputs you'll find the last action that you did. If you increase the fraction then you can get a smoother surface. So I'm going to choose, um, let's see, something like 0.5. I think that's good. 
And there we go. Now we have a coffee table with a base. And that is how you create a really fast abstract uh, piece. So let's select everything. Again, you want to delete the history and freeze the transformations. This is going to be the table base. Or I'm sorry, table top underscore geo. This is going to be, oops, this is the tabletop underscore geo. It's going to get, um, let's change this to table base. I'm going to call this the ground plane. And there we go. So very quickly, we created uh, an abstract base. If you want to, if you feel like this isn't thick enough, you can make it thicker. Again, just don't forget to delete the history and freeze the transformations. So that's how you quickly make a base. In the next tutorial, we are going to procedurally texture this item as far as we can, and we might need to texture texture. So we'll see what, what we get. So let's go ahead and move on to texturing. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know by leaving a comment below. If you guys are interested, take a look at academicphoenixplus.com, which is my personal website for this particular channel. It's got a lot of free downloads, 3D models, and a lot of other stuff. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. All right, guys, I will see you in the next tutorial when we will go over texturing.